I've been training for eight years and I've experimented with pretty much every variable there is in my training, nutrition and supplementation to find what is optimal for me. What this report was showing me was the actual genotypes which resulted in me responding well to these various decisions that I've, I'd made through trial and error. And I remember thinking, if I'd have had this when I started training, my results would have been so much faster and more linear. Uh, what a great resource for people who are interested in changing their body. Both in my own training and as a coach, I'm all about optimization. Nutrition, training, supplementation. Getting it all as close to perfect as it's possible to get. Normally, you'd have to rely on scientific studies, journal articles, and anecdotal evidence to construct what you believe to be the optimized plan for you. Whereas now there's a shift in fitness and a trickle down from resources that used to be available to only the world's top athletes in their field. Now everyone can learn about their own personal genotypes and have customized recommendations based on those genes to optimize every part of their health and fitness. So I'm really excited today to be able to talk to you about fitness genes. They're a leading company in the field of genetic testing. They specialize in testing for genes related to one's health, fitness, training, supplementation, and nutrition. I was lucky enough to get testing done quite early on with the company's inception, and I was blown away by the results that I received. Reading through the report that I got, it was pretty much like reading a psychic analysis of me. For example, there's a gene called alpha actinin 3 that my report came back and said I had two copies of the allele for that gene, and it's associated with muscular endurance. Now, I had always instinctively trained with very high volumes. And in fact, a lot of people would look at my training programs that, for myself and think there's far too much volume in there. There's too many sets, not enough rest, loads of exercises, and it's too much. And yet I'm able to recover from those workouts and also do them with quite high frequency. And my gene report came back and showed me that my genotype backs up that style of training and the recommendations that were made to me by fitness genes were to use a training program of that type. It's a fledgling field but I think it's an absolutely incredible product that I'm really excited to be able to share with you guys. Anything from your testosterone levels, your metabolism, the way you metabolize uh, carbs, fat, your insulin sensitivity, your sensitivity to caffeine, should you be taking a pre-workout, should you be taking beta alanine? Will you see any effects from creatine? These are questions that often require trial and error, but with genetic testing of this kind, you can know for a fact how you should be supplementing and how you should gear up your training. And as a coach, it means that rather than experiment with someone's carb levels and how high their fat should be and monitor their progress and make adjustments to their macros, I can just know and have a baseline that, yeah, this person is insulin sensitive or yeah, this person processes fats well. But I wouldn't associate myself with anything that I didn't think was gonna really benefit the people who I recommended it to. And I, I would just simply wouldn't put my name behind something. And this is something that I really believe in and I think is the next level of optimization of programming for health and fitness. As you can see, the sun's setting as I'm making this video. I'm gonna go and do a high volume workout as was recommended to me in my fitness genes report. Catch you next time.